So my sister's in here. She's drawing. She's working on her drawing skills. There's no electronic devices right now, so. <laughs> okay, so inside the, this is, yeah, sorry. Inside here I have a uh, Ex Libre, Ex Libre? I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna do so much editing. <laughs> okay, so here is a name label. And then I have the birthday of the book in here on the library card pocket. And I used Paris in my heart from, huh? Oh, he's got a sister? Cool. Here I used the Paris in my heart from um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. I had purchased it a long time ago when she was having, um, so she had a, a thing where she printed them out for you and she sent it to you. And I didn't have a printer at the time, so I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> so I, I bought it and then she, you know, she sent it and it was perfect. You know, I copy dyed it and I used it and then I was like so bummed because I couldn't, I couldn't use it again unless a printer was a good investment. Um, here's one of the pockets that I, I put one of the clocks on, or face of the clock on, and then I kind of use that for an extra tuck spot. And inside is also some ephemera. Super cute. I love this kit. It's one of my favorites by her, so. I don't know if it's because it's Paris or because... I don't know. I, I love all the colors. Oh, here's one of my Franken pages. And I have another paper bag, a coffee dyed paper bag that I sewed onto here. And then inside of the paper bag, because I wanted the paper bag to still be usable, I put the index card and coffee dyed index card and some coffee dyed ephemera from one of her, her digital, one of ephemera's vintage garden digital kits, which is called Ephemeral Garden. Wow, that's a mouthful. Phew. So that clips on there. And then here I have a altered envelope, which has some sewing, some decoupaging, some more wax sealing, some stamping, and more sewing. <laughs> so there's ephemera in here. And is that another one? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I love this. It's so pretty. I kind of like the stuff that's coming off too. It's really pretty. And I'm making a video during the day, so life is happening in my house. So if you hear my kids in the background screaming about, you know, stuff like bathroom breaks, <laughs> they are going through a phase where they like to go on bathroom breaks and they come and talk to mommy. They don't actually go to the bathroom. They just, they go, they open the toilet, and then they they pretend like they're going and then they close it and flush the toilet and then they come in and say hello and then they'll try to stay wherever I am. It's really funny. Washi tape here. And another one of the pages from the kit. I have some Harper's May pages which has kitties on them. <gasps> so pretty. And I love these images. Like I really, really love these images. They were hard to put in here but I was like I, I have to use these. So um, this is really cool because this is from out here in Tell City and it's a um, it's a jeweler's repair it's a I don't know uh, an envelope for one of the jeweler shops out here but it's for repairing and so it's it's pretty old but I got it out of an antique antique shop in my town which is so awesome I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the stuff that I, I bought from there because they have some really neat old stuff and a lot of old, a lot of old stuff, so. Some more ephemera from the kit. I'll just put in here. Um, these are French dictionary pages that I bought. They're vintage and I put them in here. I just reinforced the spine so it wouldn't be any issues later because it's really old. And here I have some architecture. Hold on. It is. Is it in the back? Here we go. Alright, so it is Introduction to Archaeology, Prehistory and Cultural Growth, and it is from 1934. And it is from one of the packets that you get, you know, from the college or something. And then this one, I have pages from this in, in here, and it is the, um, it is a Sears catalog. It's a Sears catalog. Super cool. And I have, it's, where is it, when is it from? It's from 19, 
the dates on here, I keep looking at it over and over and I always forget because I use so many different things that I always forget what di what the dates are. They all start to like, so many different dates. 1901. Yes, it's from 1901. Wow, you guys, you see that right there? Don't judge me. <laughs> I was looking in the, <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, here I have some more ephemera. You just put in a little file folder that comes with a digital kit. And paper clip it on. And here's one of the altered paper bags I did. And inside is some tags from the ephemera garden digital kit. And I have pages from Kirby Tisdale, not Kirby Tisdale. Uh, paper Studio, so much stuff. I really can't keep track of it all. I try, but I fail. Sorry. And here is a book page, or a music sheet. It's one of the book pages. It came in a book page set. And here's another, the other side of that archaeology page. And then here's a coffee dyed envelope, and there is some ephemera inside. And there's some more on the other side. There we go. I love this, love these images, so pretty. And then this is the other side of the Franken page, and this one flips out. I like this because the stamp went through to the other side. And it's is, this is deli paper. So um, I did a bunch of sewing, layering of papers, did some washi tape, and I made a tuck spot. I could purposely put this on here and sewed it on so it would be a tuck spot once I put it in the journal. So I have some extra journal ephemera. Put that like that. It just tucks in. And then some, I already did the washi, there's washi. <clears throat> some stamping on the other side, a botany page, and some more washi. And then there's a coffee dyed um, floral doily. Some of the tags that come with the kit. And then there's a journal card from, journal card cut out from um, Tim Holtz. Book page. This is a flip out. Just have some stuff clipped on there. Another one of the beautiful pages that are in the um, printable kit. And then I have some more ephemera here. This is another one of the altered um, um, envelopes that I made. So I did some mod podging. I mod podged on some uh, napkin, did some stamping, and then I took my, um, <laughs> I took my lace and I folded it over and then I sewed it on. It looks so cool. I love how it looks. And then I did some wax seals and here I put in just some book pages and some ephemera. This is a French book page here. And it just goes in there. And this is another one where I didn't tear this one off. Did I tear this one off? I can't remember. I can't remember if I tore this one off or just part of it was torn so I just sewed across the whole thing. And then I have one of my boho beads. And I put a little heart charm on there and it just clips right on. Another French um, dictionary page, vintage French dictionary page, and here's the envelope with some ephemera inside. Some more of those little tiny French di uh, French book pages. There's a lot of stuff going on in these books lately. <laughs> Just put so much stuff in here. Music paper.
And I really, I put this book page in here for this image right here. I really like this guy, the way they designed this guy's outfit. It's really cool. Another um, Franken page. I just have these little pieces clipped on. And there's some fabric washi here. Storybook page. I want to make sure I say the right archaeology book pages or lecture pages. French journal or French dictionary page. And then here is um, another boho bead. And one side has a charm with a heart on it. And then the other side of the charm has a, uh, it says love. It's really pretty. So I paper clipped a ticket on there, an envelope with some more ephemera inside, and it's got music paper, it's copy dyed envelope, and it's really pretty, it's just really pretty. And here is another one of the, uh, the other side of the Franken page, and I have some um, really thick fabric linen. Uh, paper. It's on here and I've had it for a while but I haven't used it. It's just been in my like my stash pile. So I put it on here and I'm really glad I was able to sew through it. Some trim, some washi here, and then some stamping. And here are some of these Sears catalog pages. And some more ephemera. Music paper. So pretty. These are so pretty. And then there's some more ephemera right here. There's some of the tags and then some book pages. And these are the French dictionary pages. I think that is some in every signature. Oh man. And here is some more pages that I just put in here. I need a ticket. Some tags. And then I have another one of the jeweler envelopes here with some ephemera inside. And that is from out here in Tell City. It's a jeweler that used to be out here, a jeweler shop. And that's the back. And I have the date of the book as well as my signature. So that is this journal. This is the French journal. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. If you have any questions, let me know. And also, I would love it if you would come and join me over on Instagram at Say Something Crafty so you can keep up. If you want to keep up with my work and what's going on in my life, that's where I post. I post a lot there so you can, guys can um, like talk to me there better and it's easier for me to com communicate with everybody. I'm also over on Facebook at... Um, <clears throat> say something crafty where I post there as well and I also love to hear back from you guys and get your guys' feedback on like projects I should work on or um, I post tutorials there like um, I share like everything I, I'm working on pretty much so um, if you would like to join me there that'd be super awesome and yeah let me know if you have any questions on anything I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through and I'll see you guys next time bye